Northwestern has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Here's a run, and he's taken down at the 26-yard line. About the 33 yard line. That reception good for seven yards. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Fires out to his wideout. He's pushed out of bounds at the 42. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. He's got room to run. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Tackled after a decent pickup. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it 77. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Go! Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Wildcats offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability. That was loose fumble. Picks up the loose ball. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. So the ball will change hands, and it'll be first down. This guy is about as sure-handed as they come, but fumbles do happen, and you can chalk this turnover up to a very aggressive defense. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on the 26. Brought down around the 15-yard line. That's good for a game. Nice gain as he works the right side.
It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. And he converts the extra point. So a five-play, 24-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. The score now, 7-0. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. Tackled for a loss. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at the 23. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. That brings us fourth and eleven. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Demon Deacons on this really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. You know, you can almost feel the offensive line's confidence growing with each snap. They have really controlled things up front, which is going to open up the rest of the playbook for the offensive coordinator. They try running left. He fights forward to about the 36. Wake Forest is up a score. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. That makes it third and three. Clears it out to the right to the halfback. And he's tackled right away. That's good for him with two yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. And calls for the fair catch. Wake Forest's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. They try the right side, and they hit him in the backfield. Drill at the seven yard line. Call the loss of seven yards. That'll bring up 39. Third and long now after the sack. Once and all, going deep. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellows up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Got the corner. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. So at the end of one, Wake Forest leads 7-0.
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we got Mike 48. Down. Got it. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 41. That's good for him. First down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to fight the 48 right now. Let's go. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Number 35 makes the set to go at the 32 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Let's fight the 48 right now. Let's go. He's at the 20, and they push him out around the 11-yard line. Got an opening. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll bring up second and three. Now he pitches it, and they make the stop around the seven-yard line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. How about the hit by the defender? Just a great job of pursuing the ball, and that's how you finish off a tackle. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Western is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Wake Forest holds a four-point lead. And down he goes. Right around the 24-yard line. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That makes it third and 15. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Red two, green 15. Slings it out and it gets tipped. That was a heads up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. And this one is a beauty. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Red two. Got him. And he goes down quickly. Number 27 on the tactical at the 45 yard line. That brings him second and five. 117, 117. He goes out of bounds at the 48 yard line. Watch out here. He's out of bounds right around the 50. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He is 21. He is 21. 
Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll get him for a loss. That brings up second and it's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 48. Wake Forest is up by four. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That makes it 37. They hook up over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 21. He's wrapped up for the sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. It's great to put the ball in his hands and let him go to work. Big, big gain right there. And they'll get him in the backfield. That brings him second and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Touchdown, Deacons. <laughs> and he hits the PAT. like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Well, this offense is going to have to do a better job on this drive. Remember the last time, they went for it on fourth down and came up short. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can do it. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll get six yards. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. The Wildcats use their second timeout. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. That'll make it second and four. He's on the run. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Oklahoma! Knocked out of bounds at the 43. From the 43-yard line, second down. Hey. 
completes it across the middle. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Gets it out in a hurry. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Here's the eighth play of the series. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. Wake Forest up by eight. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Brought down at the 21-yard line. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. That's a game of 13. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at the 40. That makes it second and six. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Gets out to around the 45. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. So he finds his receiver for a short gain and a first down. Since he only needed a few yards, the little dump off pass worked to perfection.
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a good one. That makes it second and six. Here's a running play. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's good for a gain of four yards. Third down. at the 24. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs them to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. The halfback with a carry. He takes it right side for a good game. Game of five yards. That brings him second and five. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Another third down upcoming, and they've converted all three this drive. I don't even know why this team showed up. Down! 10-19! Hut! 10-19! Hey, check, 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 check! They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they got him for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. Fourth down. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up, and he got it. Western gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. And he's hit immediately. He's got an opening. Makes it to the 47. Decent run here, right side. That'll make it second and four. Junior makes the catch. He's hit and taken down. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. Hey, check Mike 46. Check Mike 46. Red, two. Go. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Number four on the tackle on the 29-yard line. That'll make it third and five. Check Mike 46. Looks for his running back incomplete. Number 25 was the intended receiver on the play. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He 
sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Northwestern's come out of the locker room after the halftime, and they got a whole different approach going here offensively. Yeah, I think the one thing I'm recognizing is just more about the execution. I think they're, they're doing a good job of sticking to the fundamentals of their game plan, but I think they're doing a better job of executing that game plan and helping them out. Big opening! And he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. That's a game of nine. That brings him second and nine. They'll knock him down for a loss. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. Wake Forest up by eight. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 39. That's a game of 18 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Let's eat it up. Mike 41. You've got to wedge that, huh? It'll be a long day for you. Hey! Take four, take four. He's at the 30. Fires out to his receiver. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 18. Number 17 brings him down at the 18-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. And now he's got room to run. That's a game of three on the play. First down. The 10, and he hits him hard at the five. Number 15 makes the tackle at the five yard line. That'll make it second in inches. This is the ninth play of this drive. Gets to about the five yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Northwestern. Quarterback just made that one look pretty simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. Very important play coming up, and if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. Here they come, and they won't get the two. A nice 10 play, 75 yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Wake Forest holds just a two point lead. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 28 yard line. Field 
kill. X. And he is drilled at the 47. Very intelligent play call. Dialing up the option on third down, and it worked like a charm. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Four down, four down. Hey, check my 46. Red two, check my 46. X, seven. Makes it out to about the 43. Just over two minutes in the game. Sheds that one, and they hit him in the backfield. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. <laughs> Wildcats have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Number 48 on the tackle at the 15-yard line. Needed that play, and he dropped it. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. From their own 15-yard line, third down. Going deep. Picked off. It's the ball hawking senior. The Wildcats, star quarterback, a tough way to end this game. He's just going to have to find a way to bounce back. Uh, he's going to have to, and you and I had a chance to sit down with him. This is a tough loss. They'll deal with this for a couple days, and I think knowing these players, they'll be able to move past this and get ready for their next game. From their own 33-yard line, first down. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. Brad, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. Northwestern's called their final timeout. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it.
The kick is up, and it's good. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. He wants it all. Drops it. Second and 10, all on their own 25. He's gonna go for the home run. And he's got the junior. To the 20, to the 10. They've done it, I can't believe it. You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. So they'll go for two here and try to go up by a field goal. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. They don't get it. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. A field goal now almost certainly wins it. So if they can get inside the kicker's range, they're in great shape. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Going deep, lays it out there. He got it. That tackle just sealed the deal. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 21-20, Wildcats. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.